Hello, look what I have. A new workstation for my chia mining farm. Hopefully. So in this case, I got HP Z240 workstation. So in this workstation, we don't have many slots for hard drives, but I probably use the external ones. But there is one really good thing about this one. It already has, you should be able to see it here, it already has NAND SSD drive with M2 port installed and the drive installed to the motherboard itself. So that means that we don't need any external card to be added to this workstation for such drive to work on it. And that's great. We can do all Chia plotting procedures on this drive. I got it less than 500 bucks. And the hard drive was already installed with this, with this machine. So that's not bad because I don't have to buy a separate one. I can use this one. Just one thing is that Windows is installed on this drive at the moment. So let's try to transfer the Windows to the other cheap SSD. So I have it here. Here I got a pacer, a pacer how it's called, cheap 128 gigabytes SSD disk. What I like about this case as well, that you can really easily add, here, here are the casing, and it's possible to really easily add the hard drives in here. Just like that. The same for the HDD. I have some one prepared, so it's really easy to take it out place it back and here is one more and probably as I have like four slots for four, four SATA slots I'll probably add one two three and the fourth disk disk maybe somewhere here or on the back of this case well I'll decide later on so in this case we'll start with SSD to transfer the windows and HDDs to HDDs will go here for chia mining, plotting, and then hopefully mining. So first thing, what we have to do is to make that Windows would be loaded from this SSD. And now you have two options. One option is to install fresh Windows on here and use it, or clone your Windows using some kind of software and transfer to this SSD. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna clone the Windows. I have some old HDD drives which are like 500 gigabytes, so it's not worth to do any chia mining with them. So I think I'll make a copy of this Windows. If something goes wrong, later on I can just use that copy and I won't need to install. Also, I pre-installed some applications that I'll be using later on, so that's really convenient. If you think that you might need to later on reinstall the Windows, you can make a copy. You'll just copy clone the HDD to your SSD and you can use it. So I'm gonna use this method. I'll make a clone and then we'll try to change the BIOS settings that it would be loaded from SSD drive. Great, so let's jump to the computer screen. So once the drive, the new drive is connected, it will not appear here. First thing, you might need to restart your computer. And the next thing, you have to go and create a partition on the drive. So this PC, press right mouse button, go to manage. Yes, we have a device manager. Now let's go to disk management. And here we go. We just got a message that new disk was found. We can leave it like master boot boot record because we will use it later on. Press OK. Here is our drive. So press right mouse button. New simple volume. Next. Yes, we want to use all the space. Next. Attach the following letter. Next. 
ntfs yes we want ntfs default new volume this will disappear so it doesn't really matter if you leave it like this let's call it ssd quick format yes that's great the basic information we just typed and press finish done it's completed and we can see the disk has appeared in here and of course we can see it in here as well so now let's run the macroom reflect application and here we go we have application no we don't want to update it for now we have a clone disk on the main screen clone disk option and we have to select which disk we want to clone so we want to clone the first disk the one that has a windows system on it and we'll transfer everything in here so press on clone disk yes yeah, see this one is correct so let's select a disk to clone to let's select the empty one yes that's good now let's delete the existing partition it will be created automatically yeah, everything looks fine next and once you press next we'll have a window to finish the procedure so let's so let's press it okay let's let make it cool let, let's make it cool so let's press it okay we have one more window we have to name the procedure so we can call it hp but it doesn't really matter run the backup now save ok it gives us a warning that everything will be overwritten so that's okay this is what we want and it will make a clone of the current system as these are two ssds it should not take long but it still takes a couple of minutes so let's wait a moment until it's done and then we'll continue with BIOS configuration. Now, as the copying of the C drive is done, we have to think of how to distinguish these two disks. Discs. So I came to an idea. I have created a text document, text file, like text new document, on the current C drive, on the documents of the current drive i'm using and once if the switching is done correctly i will not be able to see this document because it will stay on this ssd not the new one the one we are using also we could check by the size later on but let's let's keep this one this file and let's let's see if we'll see it or not so now to change the hard drives we have to open the BIOS of the system. Of course, I will not be able to record the screen once I open it, so I hope you will be able to see it. So, okay, let's do it. Let's restart the system. And, and the magic key for this should be F10, function 10. So let's try to press it as long and as much as we can i can see it's entering setup menu oh okay cancel here we go the same white screen as i saw before looks like the screen is quite visible uh, the font is quite big so I will leave it like this and let's try to find out the menu we need. Oh, even the mouse works. That's just great. I remember the days when you could use only the arrow keys and enter and escape and maybe some other keys. Now it's, it's progressing. It's definitely progressing. The wheel is not working, unfortunately. So go to advanced tab in here and we have boot options. Press on the boot options. And we have fast boot, USB storage boot, of course, of course, CD-ROM boot. No, we don't want the CD-ROM boot. Once you press on this area, because this is the order how it boots, we can we have some arrows, so we can 
move the hard drive up m2 windows boot manager goes down because we want to boot it not from the m2 but from sata the one we just cloned and uh, let's press enter mm, i'm not sure yeah i think it changed yeah now we press on somewhere else on the screen and it has changed looks good let's save it save changes yes looks like this is what we need let's press exit yes we want to save changes and now the moment of truth will it load or will it not loading loading set i should be quite fast as well you haven't seen this loading loading of course m2 should be faster than sata but this looks pretty fast as well okay let's try to log in for now everything looks the same let's go to the documents and we don't see a file it smells like a success and here we go we have local c drive it's 65 gigabytes and local e drive which was our sata the one we plugged in before has half of a terabyte great now we have the drives connected like c the one that was used before for windows and the new drive i just connected the one will be testing the plotting how how fast is the plotting so first of all what i have to do what we have to do is to format this drive the one that had windows before so just right mouse button and format quick format start okay now we have an empty fast drive and let's start with the chia thank you for watching i hope it was useful click that like button if you like the video dislike if you don't let me know why so that i could improve in the future and see you next time cheers